and we call it the iPad. The real thing, called the iPad, was unveiled in California a few hours ago by the Big Apple himself, Steve Jobs. That's what it looks like. Very thin. It looks like a big smartphone or a small laptop. In fact, it's claimed that it's the missing link between the two. The launch was attended by Britain's best-known gadget fancier, who filed an exclusive eyewitness report for Newsnight. It's been a much anticipated, that's uh, the understatement of the year, uh, of the digital year at least, uh, launch, and um, I think it delivered. Many won't. Well, the speed of things, in, in, absolutely amazing. And no matter what it looks like online, when you handle it, when you have it physically in your hands, it is. you realise this is, again, it is a game-changer, and things will alter. Publishers hope the silvery iPad may be the magic bullet that allows them finally to make money from readers downloading books. Apple said today it was entering the book market with a number of big-name publishers. I think this will make an enormous difference to the publishing industry generally, not just the uh, newspaper and magazines, but, but also you know, books and textbooks, uh, uh, which uh, Steve Jobs mentioned as well. I think they will find a really, really important use for this. We spoke to analysts who are predicting a bumper year for the digital reading device. I think this is a device which we would call a Goldilocks device. It's not too big, it's not too small. I think one of the things that, that Apple has helped achieve in the music world with the iPod and iTunes has been the relationship between a compelling device and a way that you or I, as individuals, can buy music in a simple, easy to use format, easily stored. And is what people are now looking for in the publishing world is something similar. But is this any kind of solution for newspapers, losing readers and advertisers to the net and now in some cases hoping to charge for their wares online after giving them away free up to now? And I think is what we're seeing is a real look at how feature-based content, other ed edited content, can start to find the same micro-payment structure for individuals to buy that content online. And just but, tell us what that would be, micro-payment. A micro-payment is the ability for you or me to go in, download an article by an author that we particularly like, by a journalist that we particularly respect. But rather than doing that for 50p or a pound, it may be something that we can download for 10p or it may be for a fraction of a penny. With the greatest respect to the makers of existing digital reading tablets, they haven't exactly swept all before them. So why should Apple's new offering do any better? For me, netbooks really haven't done what we hoped they would. Uh, they were a great idea on paper, but the reality is that they are small, increasingly expensive laptops that just don't really do anything particularly well and are grossly underpowered. The iPad really, again, it's about tearing up existing notions of computing and starting from scratch and building something that actually fits a particular need, rather than trying to shoehorn an existing product to, into a niche market. That's the thing about the march of the electronic gadgets. Put them on slumber mode all you want, but unsleeping is what they are. <laughs> <laughs>